I can't believe that I let me mute this. Let me mute this. Uh, where we at? Uh, yeah, I can't believe that I just watched Andre Berto and Robert Guerrero fight in 2023, 11 years after their first fight. Um, T Street Controversy with Fight View 360. Take your time out, like the video, subscribe. Uh, last time we saw Andre Berto and uh, Robert Guerrero in the ring, he looked like this. This was my first viral, no, my first 100,000 view video on YouTube. I think this was like my first year uh, covering uh, boxing on YouTube. But yeah, he looked like this. And uh, I believe Robert Guerrero should go on to win the fight tonight. Uh, both fighters, 40 years old, uh, pretty much inactive. If I was to rate this fight, scale of 1 to 10, I'll give it a 6. You know, it wasn't boring. It was uh, just... Uh, you can just tell that they're older. Robert Guerrero looked closer to who he was than Andre Berto did. Andre Berto just, you know, didn't look good. I'm guessing rust. You can say whatever. Uh, I was never really a fan of Andre Berto's career. Uh, of course, you got to always respect him as a fighter. But never was really a fan of him. Uh, never saw the hype. And remember, he had the HBO machine behind him. He was one of the reasons why uh, 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 Al Heyman... HBO pretty much was like, listen now, like we ain't gonna be paying for these bullshit fights no more. You know, he was Andre Berto was the genesis. He was the genesis of uh, PBC and how they've uh, matched their fighters, to you know, say the least. So uh, I'm guessing the loser of this fight. By the way, here's the punch stats. Here's the punch stats. Let's see, 125 of uh, landed 324 for Guerrero. 96 for Berto, 305 uh, uh, thrown. But yeah, I'm giving this fight to. Uh, oh, let's listen in. My sound is all jacked up. I don't know what happened or what's going on. Official decision. Oh, there you go. We got something right there. Oh, they're showing. Uh, not bad. I'm doing. You know, I got. I got to manually lower the volume. Uh, so what was I saying? Uh, confusing myself. Oh yeah. Um, I'm guessing the loser, uh, boxing soul, is going to be is going to be uh, banished to to Showtime. You know, this is their last card ever. So that's what I'm guessing is going to happen. Is that you know the loser's boxing soul is going to have to stay. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of action, the judges are in agreement. We have a unanimous decision here. The score totals. Judges at ringside, Tim Cheatham and John... I hope they don't rob Guerrero. 8 to 92. Judge Mike Fitzgerald sees it 99 to 91. All three in favor of the winner, Robert the Ghost Guerrero. Yeah. In the words of Yankee Quipper, not Clipper. So looking like, I hope they give him a post-fight interview. There we go. We got Jim Gray. Uh, so, yeah, uh, Andre Berto's soul will remain with Showtime Boxing for eternity. Well, two and a half years outside of the ring with this performance. Well, I felt great. I felt great uh, in the ring. Box. I said in the fighter meeting that I was going to box a little more. We'd work behind the jab, work my footwork. But... Hey, Berto's a tough, tough character. You know, he's fast, he's strong, tied me up a lot. I wasn't trying to hit him in the back of the head. He kept turning. I think that's he was scared of that left hand. But, you know, I'm, I'm pumped. I'm excited. See what's next for this. You know, I'm uh, excited to close out Showtime. Showtime, we out. I just want to thank uh, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, blessing me to be here. Thank you. Jesus Christ. We've had some, we've had some good times with you here on Showtime. You're now 40 years of age. How much difference would you say would your assessment be from 11 and a half years ago when you guys fought in your primes? Uh, I just had to fight smarter, you know. Last time I had a chip on my shoulder when I fought Berto, I wanted to walk him down and bang it out with him. This time, use my boxing skills. I mean, you've watched me since I was 122 pounds. You knew I could box. I can be on the outside. So that's what I did today. I'm excited. Man, like my father says, hey, 40 years old, older the bull, stiffer the horn, baby. <laughs> <laughs> what will you want to do with this? Are you, are you going to take another bout, or, or, or was this it? Oh, no, I want to see how far I could go. 
Hopefully, hey, maybe I get back in the world title fight. What do you guys think Are you about being that? for real? Is that for we real? Got, hey, oh. let me tell you, Mexican power, baby! Woo! World title, baby! Robert, great to see you again. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. I just want to thank Showtime and Al Heyman. Showtime, you know, they've always been good to me all the way from Showbox till now. I'm glad I got to close it out. Thank you very much, Showtime. Appreciate it. And we thank you. It's been a thank tremendous you. honor to cover your career. Thank, thank you. you. All right, Marl, back to you. Thank you very much. Yes, Robert Guerrero is 11th. Um, let me mute this. Uh, I don't know what to say. Uh, and th if this doesn't clearly show you or prove to you that I'm a low-down degenerate, you like this guy? You like that shit? Woman beaters? He must have learned it from his dad. Woman beater, baby. We're going to beat that woman beater down. Never forget that. Uh, quote, unquote, Ruben Guerrero. Here was uh, Steve Farhood's card, 96-94. Uh, card taking place in the uh, armory. Replay value for this fight is low. Uh, no real highlights. Unless you unless you feel that um, those... those Slips, what were rude slips of uh, Andre Berto, whether uh, they were knock knockdowns. But yeah, Andre Berto's cooked. Uh, ring rust or not, he he can't hang with no 147 pounders or no 154 pounders. Robert Guerrero is cooked. I remember it was a midday card. He should have lost or been stopped by what's this guy's name? Aaron Martinez. I remember that card. Uh, bruh. Let's see where Ruben's hanging. He's gonna start coming in. He's gonna open up. He's gonna get frustrated. When he's off balance, that's when you make him pay. He's too awkward. So, um, as I'm looking at the rankings, I'm like, yo, they're gonna get motherfucking Robert Guerrero killed. Who you think he should fight? Realistically, you think maybe Jamal James? Listen, I listen, bro, bro. He needs to listen. Uh. Cody, he needs to stay away. That's what I'm going to say. I'm not, like, I, I just don't want to see the ghosts get hurt. Uh, I'm glad these two, I guess, fought. You know, it came years and years late. And who called for this fight? You know, m my gut's telling me Andre Berto wanted this fight, and Robert Guerrero was like, yeah, fuck yeah, I'll fight him again. I'll beat his ass again. Uh, But the reason is because it's like Andre Berto, you can't get no stripes for that, and he lost again. Like, bro, like, uh... Robert Grail's like his dad. I remember Andre Berto's brother used to be cussing me out in my videos in the comments. Because I used to be, I used to roast Andre Berto. You know, not anymore. I'm a little older now, but I used to roast him. Uh, take your time out. Like the video. Subscribe. Who do you want to see Robert Guerrero fight next? Realistically. And don't be surprised if he gets ranked by the WBA. So I'm guessing we'll be seeing Robert Guerrero on Amazon Prime or one of those uh, other potential uh, broadcast deals that PBC has. Take your time out, like the video, subscribe, and teach you controversy with 5U360. That's bullshit, baby.